like an action movie. Boom! Oh, the rooftop came off. Beep, beep! Hop on in the back. All aboard. This is the Leyland truck. We're going to the land where you can get laid. Oh, Scotties! Stop it! Think about the kids! Uh, yeah, I know. I know kids are watching. I can't remember that, man. Kids are watching the show. Open up and fly. This makes no sense. I'm just putting more cars on here. Yeah, check it out. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and this is from Royal Toys. First of all, let me say a big thank you to Royal Toys for actually gifting me this. Yeah, it's a display piece, but it can be reviewed for you guys. And here's the box. Boom, look at this box. Look at the little box right here. It's a nice box, nice size. Move this to the side there. You can actually see the measurements there. Can you read the measurements there? Yeah, there you go. Back of it. So what you're actually seeing is a work truck here in Hong Kong. These are really common in this area. And it's called Leyland, but here it's Leyland. So slightly different spelling. It's L-E-Y-L-A-N-D. And here it is L-E-I-L-A-N-D. So this is Royal Toys Leyland. Work truck, I guess. RT12, 496 pieces. So if you don't know anything about Royal Toys, I'll put a link in the description with a playlist. Go check out some reviews and up here as well. They are a Hong Kong local brick brand and they also supply their bricks from Panlos. That's where the bricks are coming from. For sure, they mostly do Hong Kong based vehicles and I'm, I hope that they do buildings soon. Yeah. And the cool thing is we do give them feedback and we let them know if you have problems with some of their sets or if you have missing pieces or it's so hard to look at the manual we let them know, but they're really cool. So thank you so much for them for sending this to us. And what do I think of this? If I'm not mistaken, Leyland, from what I understand, Leyland is a UK vehicle. From what I understand, dear man, I keep mumbling today. Can you help me out here, please? What's wrong with you today? Leyland is a UK vehicle based company. I guess they have some vans here in Hong Kong too. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. So the reason it looks like this is it's actually just kind of like a transport truck. You know, sometimes they put livestock in there. They put little piggies inside and the poor piggies are going to the slaughterhouse. They look so cute on the van. They're like back to back and you're always like, oh, look at the piggies. Then you realize they're gonna be on your plate. What do you think, man? No, that makes me so sad. Anyway, let's check out this vehicle. We'll start in the front here. The plate is printed, but everything else on here is a sticker. And they're using transparent stickers. The one on the red looks okay. You can kind of see a little bit of the sticker there, but the one on the dark green, yeah, that doesn't look good, man. They use like yellow on green. It's really hard to see that. And I did a sloppy job on the sticker as well. Remember what I said? Don't put the stickers on unless you really have to. And you know what? I just looked at the book. I realized I'm missing an entire strip on both sides here. Supposed to be like white stickers. You know what, maybe it looks better this way, so I'm glad I somehow lost those stickers so I don't have to use them. Uh, yeah, the transparent stickers, mm, they gotta work on that somehow. Or at least try not to make a transparent sticker and just try to match the green color so it looks closer to it. So you got the license plate that says RT1168, and the front is actually really simple. Got a windshield there. Again, no windows on the side. They like to do this thing like the minibus. Uh, design thing, is there a reason for that? Not sure. No windows, that's okay. All the trucks out here in Hong Kong have their windows rolled down anyway. Gotta save money on that gas. No AC, yo. They do have doors. And they open up just fine. Yeah. But with the door like that, look how weird it is with the gap. How is the minifigure supposed to fit in that? Okay, okay. It's just for looks, I know. And there's stickers on both sides of the door, on that side and on this side. And that is basically, I don't know what that is actually. It just looks like the detail about this vehicle. And that says GPPDS. Veh, U, W, 38, plus CWT, 30 miles per hour. But the good thing is, it is modular on the top. It does come off, look at that. Nice piece, solid rooftop there. We look on the inner side like it's so. You guys get an idea. It has two seats in there and a steering wheel. That's it. Wish there was a little bit more detail on the dashboard, but it's not like I'm gonna go in there every day and see that thing, so it's okay. But you know, a lot of people are buying Royal Toys because it's just kind of like a nostalgic feel. You've seen this vehicle, you just want to put it on your shelf. And then we come to the back here, which is actually nothing special. There's a lot of space here, but the side panels do drop down like that. There, and there, and this back part too, like that. 
the whole thing can open up. Now when it's opened up, it's actually really fragile because there's no bricks holding the top together. It can be a little bit tricky trying to get this root piece on because it's just being held by single studs and those little poles. And when you put the poles through, that, that was a bad example, but when you put the poles through, the sizes kind of vary. So you have to like kind of figure out the level first and then push down on it. It is sturdy on there, but yeah, if you like knock it to the side, it'll probably pop off. I do like the wood panels here on the side because it's just like the real thing, but on the back intended, it's intentional. It is kind of loose here. I'll just take this off here so you can see. Yeah, this thing spins freely, and that's just so the wood piece can kind of sit here and like that. I'm not sure if you guys like that. I'm actually pretty okay with that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's exactly like that on both sides. That is a printed plate on the bottom, RT1168 again. And there's actually a lot of space in the back there, yeah? It's not bad. You can take this piece off, but it is tricky to get it back on. But again, you're really buying this for the overall look. Do I like it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's smaller than the minibus. Yeah, the minibus was huge. We'll do some comparisons with vehicles. You guys let me know what you think. And of course, it does come with a couple accessories. I was like, oh man, they left me some cool spare parts that are brown. These don't go in the truck. And then I realized these are actually kind of like a ramp. They really use something like this in Hong Kong. You pull the back down here and you're supposed to be able to put this here. The table's too slippery, so it might slide out like that. We'll try to like put it like that. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So now your minifigures can carry stuff up here and put it up. But again, it kind of slides down. Maybe it could have used like an extra piece. Maybe if I put something like this on here just to show, maybe higher up. I'm just grabbed a one by two stud that's just lying here on the table. Yeah, it grips there good now. So maybe you just need to put a little bit of extra pieces underneath so it will hold up. There you go, I just mocked it. You just need this piece, put it here, and then it'll sit perfectly right there. Look, it's not even gonna move. There, see? And of course, when you're done with these, you can just slide them in like that, throw it in, and then close the back there. That's a cool addition, I like it. It's really simple, but that's what it really looks like. And of course, we have one minifigure, and he's like the worker guy. I like the vest, man. Printing actually is pretty okay. Like, he has the shoes. You can actually see shoes on this guy. I'm not sure his legs, though, is that supposed to be like skin tone color, or is that just like a pattern on his pants? But he does have a little bit of printing on the back, and he looks like he's been working really hard. Almost looks kind of like a Bruce Lee character. All right, and this guy is Graf Oderlin. Oh yeah, Dylan. Man, I really hope I'm saying your name right, but thank you so much for all your information. If you guys have any questions about any brand, ask him. Graf, I hope you'd be more than happy to answer them. There you go. Now it's time to get to work, man. Go get those pigs and bring them to the slaughterhouse. In my 32 by 32 base plate, break yours out so you guys can measure along with me. Now I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna put this right on to the plate so you can visually see this and we can kind of get a better idea. From the back to the front, that is 24 studs. And if I rotate this here a little bit here, side to side, from here to here, it's around nine studs. You know, this might be a little bit big for your road. I'm not sure. Let's check the height. All right, now break out your one by four bricks, stack them up along with me. I'm gonna put this right here to the rooftop, it's right around there. That is 10 bricks in height. There's your dimensions. This is what it looks like underneath, nothing special, but as you can see, you have four wheels. And funny enough, the wheels spin perfectly fine. That spins fine, that spins fine, that spins fine. Yeah, they all spin fine, but when you put it down, it kind of has a little bit of a tight feel when it rolls. Oh, well, it's not bad, it's rolling now. Yeah, rolling, rolling, rolling. To be honest with you, for the look of this, it looks just like the real thing. I think it's actually pretty cool, man. Well, it's time to do that drop test again. I'm pretty sure the rooftop might fly off, but dear, you ready for this? You count it down. In three, in two, in one. Ooh. Okay, so that's to be expected. Just these parts came off. Look, see, this is what I'm talking about. That piece can come off really easy. So here, we'll take off the rooftop so you guys can see. There. So what I mean, it's just being held like that. The back rooftop piece part is actually really solid. It's just like the front does look kind of a little bit scratchy. It's not like perfectly smooth, but hey, it kind of gives it that used look, you know? Like this thing has been in the streets for a long time. You don't want a rooftop on this truck and you want to make it like a pickup truck type of thing. There you go. Yeah, not going anywhere. It's holding up pretty good. Just the bottom piece coming off. 
Actually, we can see the back here even more detailed. There's a couple windows in the back there, yeah? See in the driver's seat? That's kind of neat. There's a little bit gap there in the rooftop. I'm not sure why that's there. So this is where the issue comes in. So each one of these are slightly different height than one another, unless you try to make it perfect. And then you just got to try to figure out how you're going to put this rooftop on. So I guess we'll try to do it that way. You got to make sure you look underneath and get the studs in the right hole like that. Push it in. Actually, you can apply some pressure on this like that. It's pretty okay, man. And of course, the wood pieces are really easy to put back on. So there you go. Royal Toys Leyland Work Truck. I guess that's what you call it. It's not bad. Just the rooftop piece is a little bit fragile. Be really careful when you're putting that together. That can be a little bit tricky. But other than that, I, I actually really like it. I think it's actually pretty cool, man. It is available on BrickMeUpScotty.com or if you find it online, just go get yours if you want it. There you go. Hmm, maybe I'll put the minifigure inside and he can drive us out. Right, dear? Sounds good to me. Stick him in there. Oh, yeah. All right, he's nice and comfortable. Until next time, you guys, break me out. Beep, beep. Comparison time. Yeah, let's pull out some vehicles. I got some lying around here. This is the Q-Man school bus. It's actually been looked at a lot in the store. You guys interested in this? It's actually pretty good. But look at my window right there. It got all jacked up, man. I don't know what happened. This is what I like, yeah. Yeah, look at that. It opens up. There's your quick review of the Q-Man school bus. Now, I don't have to review this one. I just saved your review. It is sturdy. It works really well. Look at the wheels on that sucker. Drop test. Works just fine, man. Back door opens up too. Look at the back door right there. Yeah, that is the Q-Man school bus. Bonus review for you guys. Anyway, here it is with the Royal Toys Leyland truck. Beep, beep. What do you guys think, huh? Yeah, I'm going to cause more traffic jam. Well, it doesn't really make sense to put this one here, but this is Ling Bao's Bali song car. Whoa, look at that thing. Technic monstrosity right here. The hood opens up, that's really cool. Cool, I can save you even more reviews because I'm showing it to you guys right now. Yeah, look at all these brands, yeah? It's actually kind of fun to put together. I need to start reviewing Technic stuff, maybe later. What else we got, what else we got? Oh, we got the other Royal Toys here that I reviewed before. They're still around. There's the green taxi. Here at the Mr. Softy ice cream truck. And of course the mini bus, I think, yeah, the mini bus was way too big. So this Leyland truck is actually, in real life, is, should be bigger than the mini bus. This one may be a little bit more scale to minifigures, if you guys are into that. I'm not quite sure. But the mini bus is really good because you put a lot of minifigures inside. So that's actually really cool. There they are. Here's the Royal Forest Taxi, Ice Cream, any more cars we need to pull out here. I pulled out Mini Sam's Batmobile because it made absolutely no sense. Man, this thing is getting dusty, Sam. He's not in the office today but he won't mind me playing with this thing right now. Oh, that's pretty cool, that thing opens up. I didn't know that. So here we go, comparison. You can put Leyland truck here on top for no apparent reason, just because I want to put a Lego thing here. Oh, look, all the things tight when it rolls, huh? I like the flames on the back of this. Yeah, so you get an idea of the scale and size of this truck. Man, this Batmobile is too big. Speaking of big, there's a bigger car. Yeah, you want to see it? This one's actually pretty new too. It's also Mini Sam's. He built this one. I don't know if I should review it. Whoa, this one is from Kata. Look at that. Beast. It's so big. I can't even see it on that camera. Dude, this thing is crazy, man. It's from Kata. This thing is nuts. Mini Sam said it was actually really good to put together. Look at this thing, it's crazy. He's not here. Should I do a quick drop test on this one? Why not? You gotta check it when you come back to the office. Yeah, this thing rolls good. Look at that. All right, why am I reviewing, why am I even? Okay, I don't have to review this one either. There you guys go, Kata race car. I don't know if I broke it. Mini, you need to check this. 